Our final inductee into the Alumni Hall of Fame this evening is Dr. Elaine Batchelor. There's so much I could share with you about her professional journey. Um, let me just start with the titles, but there are so many of them. Chief Medical Officer, Chief of Staff, Vice President, currently Chief Executive Officer of the Martin Luther King Jr. Hospital. But what I really want to share with you is that like the others, at the core of what she's done is service. And that goes throughout the career from the South Los Angeles community that the Martin Luther King Jr. Community Hospital serves with Elaine at the helm, to the MLK Jr. Community Medical Group, a hospital physician partnership that Elaine led the formation of, which ad addresses the critical gap of doctors in the community and offers post-discharge and specialty care to patients with very complicated medical histories. And LA Care Health Plan, the nation's largest, largest public health plan serving many of our community's most needy residents where Elaine served as chief medical officer and was instrumental in developing a care delivery model that expanded access and resources to not 1,000, not 10,000, not 100,000, but a million people. This is public health at scale, and it's extraordinary work. She has prioritized not only access, but making sure that access is to quality care which is what I think we all mean, believe, and strive for when we're talking about health care as a right for all. When you see the new MLK Junior Community Hospital in South LA, which opened its doors uh, in 2015, it's a truly remarkable site. Under her direction, she oversaw the end-to-end -end development of the hospital, everything from the planning and coordination, implementation, construction, to opening its doors. While doing this, like our other inductees, and I, I just told you about this with Becky Yanu, I think one of the things that really stands out for Elaine and for each of them is their ability to be extraordinary mentors. Dr. Robert Margolis, CEO Emeritus of Healthcare Partners and board member of the Martin Luther King Community Hospital nominating her said, a UCLA Robert Wood Johnson clinical scholar identified and mentored by Dr. Batchelor is now the hospital's senior medical director of quality, a fact that is perhaps the strongest statement of Dr. Batchelor's commitment to her mentees. And we know this is just one of many careers you've launched. Elaine, we are grateful for your devotion to mentoring the next generation, but even more to your extraordinary leadership in ensuring that there is health for all at the highest quality. Please join me in congratulating her. Uh, thank you, Dean Heyman, for that introduction. And uh, thank you to the Fielding School of Public Health, to the faculty, to the Alumni Association for this honor. I hope that I still have uh, some of my lifetime ahead of me to <laughs> continue to prove my worthiness of this recognition that you've given me today. Uh, but I thought I would tell you a little bit about how I ended up where I am today. I came to the School of Public Health as a junior faculty member at the School of Medicine. And at the time, I was a rheumatologist in the Department of Rheumatology. And I was supposedly there to do health services research in rheumatology. And I came over to the School of Public Health to get a degree to help me do that. But instead of studying epidemiology or research methodology or something that might have helped me in an academic career, I chose to study what I was interested in, which was health services organization and finance. And uh, that's what they called it back then. I think now you call it health policy and management. 
Um, it was one of the best decisions I ever made. I had a wonderful set of teachers and mentors and even learned a tremendous amount from my colleagues at the School of Public Health. And by the end of my degree program there, I realized that I was spending more time at the School of Public Health and less time at the School of Medicine. And it became obvious that I was going to be heading out not to study the healthcare system, but to work in it and on it. And I can tell you that my education and my training in public health prepared me well. And in the years since I've left the School of Public Health, I've had a tremendously fulfilling career doing just that. Almost exactly five years ago, I was the chief medical officer at LA Care Health Plan, and I received a call asking if I would consider joining a group of talented individuals who had been asked to come together to create a new hospital in one of the poorest communities of our country, in South LA. And not just to create a new hospital, but to create a hospital that would replace a hospital that had failed in a very large and public way. Well, I can tell you that when we came together to do that, most people looked at us with skepticism. Um, I think that what, what most people were thinking at the time was, well, that's pretty foolish. <laughs> but they stood back, they wished us luck, and they, they watched to see what ha would happen. Fortunately, that group of people, which I want to say includes Dr. Robert Margolis, who's been with us since the beginning, was more motivated by hope and determination than by fear. And this last month in May, we happily celebrated the second anniversary of the opening of the new Martin Luther King Jr. Community Hospital. I'm here to tell you that we are doing well. We are running one of the busiest emergency departments in the county of Los Angeles, which is both a testament to the need for this facility and a, 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 an indictment of the fact that there isn't adequate health care in that community. To those of you who are just starting out in your career, I would offer this advice, which is to sometimes consider the, the job and the position that maybe others don't think is such a wonderful opportunity, but perhaps maybe a diamond in the rough. Take it on, make it your own, turn it into something great. I want to take a moment also to acknowledge the executive team that came together to open this remarkable hospital. They are remarkable people. Uh, thank you for coming today to watch me receive this honor, including Dr. Briggs, who Dr. Margolis just talked about. Um, and, and thank you also to the mentors and teachers that I had while I was at the School of Public Health. Um, people like Dr. Paul Torrens, Rick Brown, Shan Creighton. Shan, I understand now why well, you made us learn about Gantt charts. Uh, and I hope to have many more years of service ahead of me. So thank you so much. Thank you.